Well, hi everyone. It's Alex here from Until the Next Teed Up Blog, and I'm here today in Virgil, Ontario, at Niagara Golf and Batting Cages to hit a little bit of equipment. So practice late in the season's gone very well, and I just want to keep the wagon rolling. Unfortunately, it's getting a little bit cold out now. Uh, we're going to start seeing golf courses close up as quickly as Danny Lyons open and spread in the spring, and uh, it's been a pretty fun ride. So before coming out today. I received a box that I wasn't expecting in the mail, or actually from UPS. And I want to thank Al Abrams for arranging me to test and review a product from Pitchfix. Pitchfix, if you haven't heard of them, they're known for making divot tools, a whole bunch of other golf accessories, and the product that I'm going to introduce today is no different. That product is the Aqua Brush by Pitchfix. So, what's the old saying about uh, about cleanliness being next to godliness, well that's pretty important with golf and when we're on the golf course we've got to ensure that our grooves are cleaned properly. Uh, any sort of kind of dirt in the grooves it'll ruin our spin and you know what if too much stuff is caked on there it's going to affect our, our distance as well and our, and our striking. So we may not see uh, the consistency that we're generally accustomed to. So what is this product exactly? Um, well it's a compact brush you'll see it down here it's hanging on my bag. Uh, it attaches on here with a with a nice little uh, uh, I don't know a cord lace maybe a paracord I'm not sure what it is, and it's only about uh, oh geez I don't know three inches long, maybe at the most. So it's here it's pretty secure right? Well not no more because I just pulled it off. So once you pull it off the off the string you're gonna see that there's a white button on here. This white button well you press you you press it down and water comes out. So what you do. You actually, and hopefully this shows up. Um, that's the one flaw about being a one-man, you know, trick and pony show. Um, what you do is you run this under a tap of water. It'll fill up the reservoir inside. These brushes, by the way, they come off and they're also replaceable. And you just twist it back on, and you start spraying. Now that will show up, but it is misting out quite nicely. And I'm going to grab one of my dirty clubs here. And we're going to uh, just th approach the camera and I'm going to try to demonstrate it a little bit more. So hopefully this shows up again, like I say, I know I'm sort of bouncing off camera here a little bit. You don't need to see me all, uh, you know, up in my grill here. So spraying it down, getting it nice and wet. And this club was used a lot here today. And I can see that the grooves are cleaning up quite nicely. I should have showed the face. I don't know if I did or not. Uh, um, you know, that's the thing about being impromptu and on the fly and unscripted and organic. Uh, but anyways, uh, just going to give a couple more brushes here. Clean out the, uh, the P4 pitching wedge. It's caked on there pretty good. There we go. I've used it a lot already actually so and there you go this was right caked that was really hard clay that was in there and it's cleaned up real nice the grooves are nice and clean and uh, you know I'd be good for my next shot so uh, ironically enough uh, this is the time of year where I visit a golf course that uh, um, you know it gets pretty muddy it gets pretty wet they have good drainage there because of the sand base underneath the underneath the grass um, but you know it's also a sloppy time of the year to play anytime you get into you know October November December, hopefully January, who knows what kind of winter we're going to have, but uh, you want to be able to keep your, your clubs clean no matter what the season is or what the time of the year is. And uh, this is a product that is really going to be helpful, I think, on the golf course. Very, you know, it, it's very practical, it seems. I know I fumbled around there a little bit in my demonstration, but uh, uh, before that, I mean, you know, the water just, you know, now comes out perfect. I mean, you know, your grooves are going to be clean every time, you know and then just give it a quick wipe and, and you're good to go for the next hole or next shot. Uh, hopefully in a chili dip or, or anything and make it really dirty. Um, so I'm going to just do another one here real fast as well because uh, my, uh, what, was, what was it, my gap or my lob, I used my lob a lot today. Actually I had a whole bag session today and uh, you know the ground here, you know it's, there's a lot of clay in it over on the grass tees and uh, you know I don't want to use mats until I absolutely have to. But I'm going to just give this one a quick wash as well and see what happens. So this club's been sitting out for a little bit, you know, dry clay. I showed you the face. Oh yeah, beauty. 
Oh yeah. Well, giddy up. Uh, I'm really enjoying this and a quick wipe. And then I'll walk it back over and I'll show you what it looked like uh, before and, and now the after. Oh, let me just clean that off real fast. Oh yeah, there might be a little bit of dirt in there still in the grooves. I can't tell if I don't have my glasses on for close detail. But I mean, you saw what it looked like. The, the, the before and now the after the aqua brush hit it. So stay tuned to until the next dot blog for more information on the aqua brush from Pitch Fix. Take care, stay safe, stay healthy, wear a mask, and we'll see you on the next tee.